good morning everyone today is saturday so i wanted to do a little weekend vlog i am going to go to the library this morning just part of my weekend routine to go to the library i um, always put books on hold throughout the week and i have to pick them up because they will put them back on the shelves so i am going to go pick up those books and then there is a yard sale like a neighborhood that's having a yard sale that i kind of want to go to just to like drive through if i see anything that like if i see like a house that has like some cool stuff out i'll check it out um but i am just like pretty curious so i wanted to do that this morning right now i am just eating some leftover spaghetti from last night the spaghetti last night was so good my sister and her boyfriend came over last night for dinner and we made spaghetti and meatballs and i'm having some like um plant-based meatballs that justin and i made like a few weeks ago we had frozen them and they are so good tonight though we are going to my parents house to eat some dinner i think my mom plans on getting sushi and chinese food so we're going to do that and then i'm hoping at some point this weekend justin and i can put up the compost bin we did not do that last weekend and this week we just like didn't get around to doing it this week but yeah i just wanted to start off this vlog before i really get my day started i'm like the only one awake right now i always wake up so early but that's fine because then i get to start my day early um but yeah i'll check back in i'll probably check back in after i get my library book so you guys can see what books i picked out i am super proud of this monstera so this plant is actually from costco and i had this new growth like last week i think or two weeks ago i think it unraveled and then this little baby is about to start unraveling i love it so much i've been keeping track of it since it's been like attached to this other stem oh my gosh i'm so proud of this look at how cute all right i'm back from the library and the yard sale that i went to i will show you guys what i got from the yard sale so the neighborhood was super nice so that was one of the reasons why i stopped i passed it like every day on my way to school or on my way to work and they had a big sign outside their neighborhood this week that was saying that they were gonna have a yard sale on saturday so i made a mental note that i really wanted to go and I'm glad that I did because I was able to get um, this like three shelf kind of like bucket shelf kind of thing for the classroom. And I also got like a little um, desk like pencil holder or something. We can put like little pencils and markers and stuff in there. That'll be cool. Also, there was this one house that was selling a ton of National Geographic magazines, but I mainly picked out some of the ones that had like animals on the covers because the girls are still like really young and I think that they'd be more drawn to like animals. So I got a panda one, a leopard one, an owl one. I got two owl ones because there were two owl books. Um, I got a grizzly bear one and then a seals one i also got a small pot from another house because i really needed a small pot for my period cups to like boil them and sanitize them and because like we have a roommate i like i don't want to use the pots that we already have because like everyone uses those for cooking you know i just needed an extra little pot i'll probably just keep this one in my office so it doesn't get like confused with any of the other pots but it's really just going to be used for boiling um my period cups so i'm really glad i picked that up that was five dollars so i got a ton of books from the library this week i'm showing you what i picked up today and what i also picked up uh the other day when i went because they hold the books only for two days so if i put something on hold midweek i do have to go pick it up because i can't obviously make it in time for saturday this is right this minute a table to farm book about cooking and farming i thought this one would be cute i kind of want to read a couple of like books on food just because thanksgiving is coming up soon so this one looked really cute excited about that this is the blue house i really like the illustrations in this book the little mermaid this is kind of like a new take on the little mermaid so they'll love reading this they love anything like princessy this is a fine dessert so four centuries four families one delicious treat 
So this is kind of like another food related book. This book is This Is My House, This Is My School. This is kind of like the only book, like children's book, that the library really had on like homeschooling. And I wanted this when we first started homeschooling a few months ago, but it's been like not in the library for a really long time. So I finally was able to get my hands on this. And then these are really cool. So my library has these, so I don't know how to explain it, but they're like these little workbooks. And obviously we can't like write anything in them, but I have been taking um, like scans of them on my phone and then printing them out. This is a really good one. Um, I'm going to start doing these types of things with the second grader. Because we're homeschooling, she does have to take like a test of some sorts. I'm not exactly sure what is on that test, but second graders like themselves do not take standardized tests in America at least, or in the US at least. Uh, K through two, they don't take like standardized testing. So I figured that getting like this type of thing and working one on one with the second grader would be a really good idea. Um, this is just third grade reading test and then third grade math test. But yeah, these are a great resource. So that'll be really good practice. These are some of their like more independent books. For the kindergartner, I will read the independent books with her a couple of times before she reads them independently, but she is reading independently, which is awesome. And the second grader, I did already drop off a few of their independent books for this fall, like this next week. This is Louise at the Wedding. This would be a really good book for the kindergartner. Like I said, like in my last vlog, there's like a sentence or two on each page, which is perfect. So she'll really like that. She loves biscuit books. So I picked up The Biscuit and the Lost Teddy Bear. Um, this book is really cute, um, Flower Wings. So this is the Violet Fairy Gets Her Wings. And she loved that Mary Gold Fairy book. So she'll really like this one. So that's super cute. And then she loves the brownie and pearl books too. So this will be great for her as well. And then for the second grader, the second grader went three weeks in a row reading chapter books, which is really, really cool. But you could tell she was a little upset that like her sister was getting, you know, a variety of like picture books and the second grader was reading her chapter book. So I picked up like a variety of like nonfiction books and a graphic novel for her to read. So she was really excited about that. It was like a cute one about dogs. So I also picked up this book called King and Kayla, The Case of the Missing Dog Treats. And this looked super age appropriate for her. So I'm excited about that as well. So I'm excited about that for the girls this week. So I've never boiled my cups before. I really only have been washing them with soap and water, but I've only had two cycles with my cups. So I'm going to be boiling them today to give them a proper sanitizing before what? You open up the compost bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. All right, thanks. You're welcome. This is my Athena cup, my salt cup, and my Lena cup. So I, I guess I'm gonna just put them all in together because the pot is like exactly big enough for my three. Um, and then it says to have it boil for like five to 10 minutes. So I will play it safe and do like seven minutes. So that's going, but yeah, the Athena cup looked a little bit large and like really, really firm. So I'm not sure if I'm like super comfortable using that one. Um, I will tell you, I love, love, love my salt cup, which is my pink one. I love it. Um, I used the salt cup all last cycle. I did not use any other cup and it just worked perfectly. I didn't, I just didn't want to fuss with the other cups. Um, my Lena cup, I, I liked it, but the salt cup is just so comfortable. It's like soft and it's just so easy. I love the salt cup. So I think this cycle I might like try the Athena cup and I might try the Lena cup again, but I love my salt cup literally so much. But yeah, this is just what 
what I'm doing now. So we're outside now and Justin's putting together the tumbling compost bin. Look at her, she's so cute just sitting in the middle of the lawn. She doesn't spend a whole lot of time outside because we don't spend a whole lot of time outside. And it's also sometimes like too hot or too cold, but it's very beautiful out here. And she's soaking it up. Oh my goodness. Girl, <gasps> she's gonna lay down. Oh man. So yeah, Justin just setting this up now. I was going to film a whole video of like him doing this, but I don't think that will make for any good footage. So I am going to get ready right now. I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what I've been doing every day. I first go in with my Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. I love this stuff so much. It is a drugstore product, so it is super affordable. I love it. It reminds me so much of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, the one that's been discontinued. And then while I let that kind of sit for a moment, I go in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I use the shade Medium 1-5. And also in the Neutrogena Concealer, I'm using the shade Hazelnut. I'm going to blend out my chin real quick because I usually put a little bit of extra coverage like over here on my chin so i'm just going to blend this out with my sponge next i just go in with my physician's formula sculpting bronzer you guys have seen me use this a billion times i use it every day um sometimes i mix it up but the color of this one is just absolutely the best and it blends out so nicely so that's why I keep using it. This Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid cheek color blush is my favorite right now. I love it so much. Um, really, the smallest amount, like, that's probably too much. I just take it on my little blush brush. This is also the color Gentle. It's so pretty. And... I wish this video wasn't so like blue tinted. I don't know what's going on. But this blush is so nice because I do have oily skin and although I love cream blushes, like they will like make my skin look more oily throughout the day. I don't get that with the watercolor blushes and they last all day. They look so nice. You really like don't even need to set them. Lately, I have been using just a brow gel. And lately, I have been using my Morphe, um, Morphe 2 brow gel and just doing that. But my brows need to get done. And I can't really get away with just using brow gel when my brows are kind of like a little bit more unruly. So... I'm going in with a pencil today. I have been using this mascara. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed, Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. So I have been using this one. Um, you know, I just throw on mascara, whatever's working for me that day. But I am going to actually double up on mascara and use my Tarte Man Eater. I'm trying to use this one up. Max Spice Lip Liner. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. This thing is humongous. I take a little bit, I swirl it into the cap. This is a Morphe M500 brush. And I dust my skin with it. I actually have been going in with a smaller brush. This is the Morphe 438 brush. And I get a little bit on there and I just press it underneath my eyes. And then I usually get it like right in there where like my nose crease and my smile lines are. So I'll get it right in there. And then final step, 
most important step probably if I'm doing a makeup look is to set it all with my Urban Decay All Nighter. So this is the final look in like some better lighting. I don't know. I literally do this makeup every single day. It's like my go-to makeup right now. It's just super easy using like only a few products. And yeah, I can get ready in like five minutes whenever I do this look. Now you'll put your other panel on here. Yeah. And you'll have to do these because if you don't. Yes, you Wilma. End, it'll be, you'll have to reach down inside and try to tighten them. I'm really okay. surprised she came out on her own. You wanna go potty, girl? You wanna show everyone how you go potty? I got the setting on my camera fixed. I don't know what was going on before. Oh, no, it's really bright. But yeah, this is my makeup. There's one little girl. It's a little sunny for her. Wouldn't it be someplace where we could see? This is my lunch. I'm just eating a salad that I just made. Uh, just with some greens and lettuce and then um, garbanzo beans which are my favorite beans for salad. Um, I have some bell peppers in there and then some broccoli as well. And then I made it with my salad dressing I make. I will leave a vlog down below of me making it. It's like an apple cider vinegar honey deliciousness. It's so good. And then I'm just having some garden salsa sun chips, which are like some of my favorite chips. Yeah, I think it looks great. <laughs> Justin and his dad just finished the tumbling compost bin and it looks really good. Justin ran home to grab like a couple of other tools and his dad said that he would help, so that worked out perfect. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, yeah, so for this, there's two chambers on this guy. Mm -hmm. The stuff that you need to break down for a longer period of time would go into the chamber with the clock. And then this is the stuff that you don't add new scraps to. Mm -hmm. So like this will get the the new scraps. Yeah. And then this will be the chamber of like soil that is eventually going to be used to plant something. Got it. And right now you're just um, shoveling in. I'm just transferring the dirt. over all the larger chunks mm -hmm. into the time chamber. Yeah. Yeah, and here's what our compost looks like. Um, it got this... pretty wet because it rained a couple days in a row and yeah. we drank a lot of coffee. So we put coffee beans in here every morning. But mm -hmm. it honestly doesn't look that bad. I think it looks healthy. Yeah, I think we need to add more carbon because. The two important things when you're composting is having an even amount of carbon materials and nitrogen. And nitrogen is the scraps from your kitchen, like decaying plants and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then more like carbon heavy materials is like, so I'll probably like pick yeah. up some of these leaves on the ground. There's like a bunch right there, Justin. The, yeah. yeah, I'm really excited to have this because yeah, before we were just working out of this bucket. Yeah, but now, yeah, drop it right in there. And there's still a lot more a lot more space. Yeah. So I'll continue to add these larger chunks of veggies and oh yeah, eggshells. If you eat a lot of eggs, mm -hmm. I don't know if your followers eat a lot of eggs, but I mean, yeah, maybe they have like families and stuff. Yeah, but you you can put your eggshells in a compost. You mm -hmm. can put newspapers that you get. Your paper egg cartons can go in your compost as like your carbon material to counteract your kitchen scraps or whatever else you're using. Do you need me to hold this? No, it's, it stays. Nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, and Justin's excited that this is black too, so that it will like really, really heat up. So that's good for- that's good I for bet that time. stuff will break down so easy. It'll, I think it'll break down a lot quicker. Yeah. Which will be good. Mm-hmm. And everything I learned about Gardening and composting is from Google, YouTube, and then Chess's mom. I was kind of worried, like this it, looked yeah, a little it looks, small. It looks tiny, but, but no, it's pretty shit big. Kinda, shit kind of packed. I think it's like 37 gallons. Yeah. Yeah, I'll obviously have it linked down below if you guys are interested in, in picking it up. It wasn't too expensive, so. And what about if someone wanted to start doing this? What did you start with? Because this is a little older, like about a year or two old, yeah, or a year old. A year old. So how I originally started is, 
I bought a bag of potting soil mm -hmm. and I added a little bit to one of these. I took a box cutter and I cut out the bottom of mm -hmm. one of these. Okay. And I cut out the bottom and I put it on a patch of grass in my parents' backyard. Mm -hmm. And once I did that, I just started adding kitchen scraps to it. And then I would just, every single time I had kitchen scraps like you do in a bag, I would just add them into the soil. And if I couldn't cover up all the kitchen scraps that I had with the soil, I would take like a cup or a shovel from the potting soil that I had and add it on top of it. Because whenever you add anything to a compost like that's in the ground and can be easily accessible by like ants or raccoon or rabbits or anything, you wanna make sure there's no scraps on the top for anybody mm. to like be attracted to. I also think it's not super good to put like um sit like a lot of citrus. Oh, yeah, that's true. No citrus, not a lot of citrus. Mm -hmm. And then alliums. Anything in the allium family you can't put in a compost. Is that like garlic and onion? Garlic, yeah, yeah, onion, yeah. shallots, none of that can go in a compost. Okay, it's gonna be the first time we're gonna tumble this thing. Okay, hold on. I don't think I can get it with one hand. Oh god! Justin, this is heavy. Yeah, why don't you do it? Is it coming out? Uh, no, I think that's just like the... Oh, the excess? Yeah, the stuff that was like on the top part of it. This is nice. Okay, oh, yeah, it okay, is. Okay, okay, no, but squat? Yeah, squat. Well done. Okay. Okay, yeah, Chess. <laughs> okay. Okay, Chess. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> wow. Okay, that elite tumble. Yeah, nice. Nice. Cool. So I am getting ready for bed now. It's like 9.30. I'm so tired. We just listened to Biden and Kamala Harris give their victory speeches which was cool to watch i feel i am going to sleep so well tonight yeah i'm at my parents house i decided to sleep over here because my mom and i are getting our brows waxed tomorrow morning i'm about to try some new skincare um it's not like super new they sent this to me probably like um definitely over a month ago so like a month and a half ago or something but it's the Paracone MD uh, Gentle Cleanser. It's like their CBD line, rebalancing elixir, moisturizer, and their eye cream. So I'm just gonna try these out. Um, I don't have skincare here anymore, and I just grabbed this skincare to like leave here for whenever I come visit because Thanksgiving is coming up and I do plan on staying at my house or like my parents' house for several nights in a row during that time, especially because it's like my birthday time. I'm going to want to be with my family. So yeah. Oh yeah, I do love a cleanser texture like this where it is like super gentle. Good morning, it's Sunday. My mom and I are on the way to get our brows done. It's been about three weeks since we've gotten our brows done. We just kept, or maybe it's been like a month now. I think last week might have been three weeks. The brow appointment just like kept coming up and we were either like busy or we're, we didn't really, really need it at this point. But now we could definitely get our brows done and Ulta is right next to Whole Foods. So we're going to do a little bit of grocery shopping after we get done with our brows. So I just got back from Whole Foods. <laughs> I just got back from Whole Foods and getting my brows done. She just always does the best job. Fresh brows make getting ready in the morning literally the easiest because all I have to do is put brow gel in them. So, <laughs> so it makes things really easy for me. Um, so I'm going to share my Whole Foods haul. We just got a lot of Hubert's lemonade. Absolutely, yes. Um, yeah, it's like Justin and I's favorite drink. So we got original, a strawberry lemonade, a mango lemonade, and then I also wanted to try the blackberry flavor. We got one of those. What? 
We really like the blueberry flavor, but they didn't have blueberry at this Whole Foods. So I got the blackberry one. I also got another strawberry lemonade because strawberry lemonade is really good. I think Justin and I got another mango. I guess we're about to find out. I'm sorry, I got a watermelon. Ooh. Yeah, watermelon lemonade. So, um, yeah, Whole Foods was having three. If you bought three of them, you paid $4.50 for them. So it seemed worth it. It seemed like a pretty good deal. Yeah, so I got six of them. This Eden brand is my favorite brand of beans. And I love garbanzo beans. I have them with my salad all the time. They are so good. They're like the best beans. And the Eden brand has the best brand of beans. It's I love it. So I got some smaller cans. I have some bigger cans in my pantry, but I got some of the smaller cans this time. I also got some salad dressing. Although I like making my own, I kind of wanted to get some of this balsamic dressing because when the Whole Foods hot bar was open and because I worked right beside the, right beside this Whole Foods, I used to get like their hot bar salad all the time and I loved the i guess it's like a cold bar but whatever um i used to get their salads all the time and i loved this dressing so i wanted to get some of this that'll be really yummy wolfgang puck was on sale at whole foods and whole wolfgang puck is my favorite brand of soup so i picked up some soup i got the uh chicken noodle well this one's the chicken with white and wild rice so i got that one i also got hearty vegetable and then i also got a regular chicken noodle soup i also got this tikka masala sauce uh this was also on sale so i picked up two of them i probably will honestly eat these with like some t uh, potatoes it's really like this is so good over top of some potatoes so probably gonna do that one night this week uh whole foods sells these stasher bags and i bought this size of stasher bags from amazon like a couple of weeks ago and they canceled my order for some reason so i picked these up i just thought that these are so cute so i'm gonna keep like little things in there and it's like you can throw it in your bag or you can even put like like say you're like a big nut eater you can fit like a little bit of nuts in there it's super cute so i picked up some of these they were also on sale whole foods had some like pretty good sales this week so i definitely took advantage i did not expect to spend this much at whole foods but it's fine i didn't pick up anything from ulta besides my brows so that was good and then i also got some feminine cleansing wipes because it is i did get my period this morning which is good news so yeah that's pretty yeah that's all i got um for my little grocery haul i'm gonna put all this stuff away and i'll probably just check back in a little bit later let you guys know what i've been up to so on amazon i bought an air mattress i don't really have like space in this house for anyone to sleep over and by anyone i mean my sister i thought about an air mattress but i was like no i bet those are really expensive but no this air mattress was like 40 dollars, which i don't think is too expensive for like something that you can sleep on like i was considering even getting like a sleeping bag for her or something um but i kind of like i'm curious i want to set it up right now she's not like going to be slipping over here anytime soon maybe next week she will but i want to set this up and kind of just see what it looks like i did get a twin because we don't have like too too much space right here and i feel like a twin will fit okay i come to the bag to put it in when we're done with it it also said it inflates in like two and a half minutes which i was really surprised about um, oh, this is like pretty soft. Okay, so the up button is to put air in it and then the down button is to let air release. So that's good to know. Yeah, she'll totally be fine um, on the twin. And this looks like it'll probably fit really well in the room too. Oh yeah, this looks nice. And this like top part, they say like you don't even need to have a pillow because this is supposed to be like comfort for your head. Wilma, what do you think, girl? 
What do you think? Looks like a little coffin. Ooh, this is pretty nice, right? Yeah. Come, come sit on it. This is pretty nice. Comfy you, it up. You're supposed to not even need a pillow. For real? Yeah, but we have that extra pillow. I'm gonna grab it. Wow. What do you think? I'm gonna go to sleep right now. It's probably pretty nice. Yeah. We have this extra blanket that we really don't even use that often. Oh my gosh, this is comfy. Look at me, come look at me. Girl. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, this air mattress is not bad. Wilma already loves it. So it's like eight. I am going to wrap up this vlog now, but I did before want to show you guys Wilma's new bark box. So every month, if you didn't know, Wilma does get a bark box. Before, uh, Wilma's to like new toys would always get eaten up by the other dogs, but now Wilma gets to have the toys all to herself, which is really, really good for her. She freaking loves her bark box too. Like when you start opening it, she knows it's for her. I don't know that maybe they can smell the dog treats or something, but she knows automatically that it's hers. She knows these are like new toys. It is so cute. This one is like a pot of mac and cheese. And she really likes this one. It's like really nice and light for her to um, pick up, but it's like kind of like pretty substantial. It's not like a super small toy because she is a small dog, like she's tiny. So sometimes the small dog um, bark box toys are like a little bit too big for her. This is a little turkey leg, which is really cute. And this one is like a little, it's like a little bit big, but she can carry it like by the little bone part. It's like what she's doing right now. But she loves her new toys. She has so much fun with them. And then this month, I love the new like bags they're doing. They always look so cute and like the artwork is always super cute. But this is lamb chops and then there's the beef treats. So just like a lamb recipe and then a beef treat. Sit. Sit, good girl, paw, paw. Oh, I can't do it with one hand. She's not like that skilled, but she knows sit and paw a little bit. Um, but yeah, she's just a little cutie. Then um, earlier I had opened the Shantakai PR package, like earlier as in like I opened it on Friday and I just never got around to sharing it. But the Shantakai package came with these beautiful lipsticks. Like they have like sparkles on them. They are gorgeous. I guess this is their holiday line. So they sent three shades over of this. I haven't swatched any of them yet. I probably will swatch them and like sh really share them when I do like a big haul of um, like new, like recent purchases. I'll just probably like pull these out and swatch them. And then it also came with a beautiful new like face powder. It has like a little bit of a glow to it. And the packaging for this is gorgeous. It came with this little satin bag. It's literally just so cute. And they said for every lipstick sold, they'll plant a tree. Shantakai likes to focus a lot of their like sales and they donate a lot of their money like to nature organizations, which is really cool. But yeah, Justin and I just watched a movie earlier. We actually inflated the air mattress again um, and ended up like sitting on it for the movie. It was pretty comfortable. We just had our like little pillow chairs on top of the bed and it was pretty comfortable. Like it was kind of nice. So we just watched a movie. We watched the movie Freaks. Um, it's like a Netflix original, and I say it was pretty good. What did yeah. you think? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. So would recommend. It's a little bit. Um, I think it came out probably like a it's year like, or two it's ago. Like 2018. Yeah, yeah, two years ago it came out. I thought it was pretty good. So <laughs> recommend that if you're looking for something to watch on Netflix. Um. I just finished up some work, started on my schedule for the week, 
But other than that, I'm just gonna eat some dinner in a little bit, and then Justin and I are just gonna hang out some more. And then that wraps up the weekend. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog, this weekend vlog. Hopefully you guys are cool with the vlogs for now. I really miss filming beauty content, but I'm just like in a weird place right now with it. Um, I do plan on like doing some content with some of the new stuff I just ordered from the Sephora sale. So that'll be coming up soon. Just yeah hopefully you guys are cool with the vlogs because i really like filming them right now and they are helping me get back into like the swing of things with filming um but yeah for now this is going to be it thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i see you next time